my name is Anastasia and I'm a history teacher at the Beekman School. Students are always looking for the best ways to study history and my suggestion is to, for them to make personal connections to the material. Now you might ask yourself how am I supposed to do this in a U.S. history class when we're studying decades prior to when we were actually born. The best way is to look at pop culture and your interest in pop culture like film and music and see what connections are there for you to make. For instance, in this video we're going to be looking at uh, music and how interest in music can actually help us in our studies of history. For example, if your U.S. history teacher is talking to you about the Gilded Age at the end of the 1800s and you're trying to wrap your head around the populist movement, it might be easier for you if you focus on the lyrics of one particularly popular song of the time called The Farmer is the Man. The lyrics of the song read, The farmer is the man who feeds them all. Just in that small lyric, you can understand that the populist movement goal was to reimagine the image of the farmer in society in a more positive image. Again, if we look at a different lyric, the middleman is the man who gets it all, then we can see the animosity that the farmers were feeling towards northern bankers at that time. And just by looking at the lyrics of one song, we can better understand what our history teachers are trying to tell us. If we fast forward a little bit to the 1950s, we can do a similar thing. If you're trying to understand how a landmark Supreme Court case like Brown versus Board of Ed didn't immediately end segregation or racism and instead led to the, all these complexities of a new time period, it might help to understand the history of one very popular song within that time period. Brown versus Board of Ed was decided in 1954. Two years earlier, in 1952, a black singer named Big Mama Thornton recorded a song called Hound Dog, which might sound really familiar. But two years after Brown vs. Board, Brown versus Board of Ed, Elvis Presley, very famous white rock and roll singer, recorded Hound Dog. And what that shows you is, regardless of the civil rights movement of that time, regardless of the importance of the landmark decision of Brown vs. Board of Ed, you still needed a white singer to deliver a black song to white audiences. And what that tells you is even though times were changing, it would still be a long time before segregation or racism would ever end. And just in that, we have two examples of how music can help us better understand our U.S. history classes. Hopefully, after this video, you can start applying this method in your own classes. Thanks for watching.